Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And this week I'd like to start a new series or season looking at some of the teachings are from the Sermon on the Mount, that wonderful block of Jesus' teaching straight from his lips, which comes from Matthew chapters 5 to 7. And I'd like to start today by those, uh, with those first few verses that open the whole thing up. Now, when he saw the crowds, that is Jesus, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them, saying, Let's take that in reverse. He began to teach them, saying, if we want to hear the voice of Jesus, if we want to be taught by him, what do we need to do? We need to come to him. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them, saying, if we want to be disciples, if we want to own the name of Christ, then we need to come to him. Do we have that time and the space in our habitus, in our daily lives, where we seek him out and access direct the resources he has for us through scripture and through prayer? Do we make time to hear from him? Because if we don't, are we really disciples? What made them disciples was that they came to him. Otherwise, they'd just been part of the crowd. And when Jesus saw the crowd, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Why did he sit down? Because rabbis used to sit down and teach in synagogues. But he's not in a synagogue, he's on a mountain. Why is he on a mountain? Well, because mountains are the place where heaven touches earth. Mountains are the place where prophets went to pray and to hear the still small voice. Mountains are the place where the law was delivered to Moses. And mountains now are the place where God's perfect, perfect law, its fulfillment is found in Christ and Jesus paints the picture, the portrait of the kingdom for his followers. Mountains are a place where you go to gain perspective, to look out over the panorama and get a bird's eye view of the world below. And in touch with the rawness of nature, you touch something of the rawness of God's power in our lives. I had the privilege of a, f a week ago just to go and uh, climb a mountain and some peaks with a friend, some friends and to see some of those beautiful scenes and it gives you perspective. So my question this week is, where's your mountain? How can you make time and space to seek Christ, to come to him and to hear from him?